Hey everybody, this is Nick from 420expertguide.com and here I've got the brand new Viper Spectra Pro Series LED grow light. This light was just released um, and this is a 100 watt quantum board style design. Um, I've been wondering when Viper Spectra was going to redesign their lineup because it seems like every other major brand out there right now has gone with this style and Viper Spectra I think was probably one of the last ones at least from the major brands so I was right and um, so they released this model this is the 100 watt P1000 and they're also going to be putting out a 150 watt P1500 um, a P2000 which is 200 watts and a P2500, which will be 250 watts. So let's take a look at this light right here. And you'll see on the back side, you've got a nice black colored aluminum heat sink. Although you're probably not gonna have to worry about heat um, with a 100 watt light, probably all the way up to 200 watts, you're not gonna have to worry much unless you're in a really constrained space. Um, and then on the side here, we have probably my favorite feature. Um, that is the dimmer. And you can dim all the way from 100% down to 5%. I have not seen a dimmer yet on any of these quantum style quantum board grow lights. All the other ones, you have to take a plug out of the driver and... Um, stick a screw in there and fiddle around. It's really inconvenient. So this is a really great feature. And we can take a look at the underside here. This is, uh, looks pretty similar to the Mars Hydro white um, LED board with the lettering. Also Spider Farmer has a LED board that looks like this with the white background and the lettering. So, Okay, so I got the tape measure set up and as you can see here got it set to 12 inches right there and I've got my lux meter here as you can see that's K lux which is thousand lux so right at 12 inches here we're gonna go right under the center and we're right about 40 38 39 No, actually, I think I moved the meter too high there. So, we got there. Yeah, right about 37, 38,000. Um, and then on the side, doing about 30, 29. So, not bad though for a really small light like this. Um, let's see, 30 on the side there. Let me see, let's see how far out we can go down at the, down on the floor actually. Um, I'm going to lower this light and then we're going to see how much of an area this thing covers with a good amount of intensity, not just any intensity. So let me lower this light and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I've got this thing just about a foot off the floor of my tent here, and we're going to see about how much space this thing can really light up. Okay, there we go. Alright, so right at the edge of the tent. Getting about yeah, about twenty five thousand lux there. Right on the other edge, getting about yep, also just about twenty five in the back there. I know you can't see on the camera. Um, and then let's go out on the edge here. It's about eighteen, nineteen, eighteen. Um. And then, eh, 
This edge is a little bit weaker. It's about 15, eh, 16. So, um, so I know this light is about 11 inches wide, or long rather, from here to here. So, I would say about it's 11 plus probably about four on each side. So that's 15, 19. So. Almost two by two, maybe like one and a half by one and a half. Um, no, it's actually one and a half by two. Uh, all right, so, and then in the center, we're getting about 40,000. Yeah, 40,000 lux right there in the center. All right, so let's plug these numbers in. We're definitely getting light in the front edge and the back edge and then the sides about four inches off to the sides are just a little bit weaker but let's plug these numbers in and see so if you've watched any of my other videos um, where I test the intensity you'll see that I use this website every time. This is the waveform lighting um, Lux to PPFD calculator. So this is just the cheap way of measuring light intensity and converting it to micromoles. Um, the only other way is buying the $600 Apogee meter. This is pretty accurate. It's not a uh, it's really not bad at all. So, as I say, even if it's off 10%, that's still not that bad, and it's not that much of a difference. Um, so, you're going to enter your Lux reading in the, cent in the top here, and then come down and select the closest match to the spectrum that you have. This one is going to be the bottom one here. Then we're going to press Calculate. And so, it's about 1,000 micromoles in the center. And on the sides, so on the left and right, we were getting about 18,000. So 400, 460. Um, I think we got 16,000 on one side. So, and that's at 12 inches. So that's not that bad. Um, 12 inches is, that's a good flowering height right there. Um, and I mean, the center will be a little bit too hot for veg, so you might want to raise it a little bit more. But the sides are fine for veg, so that's where you're going to have to take it into uh, a little bit of consideration. But other than that, the intensity is not bad for a light that is only 100 watts and costs. At this moment, 120 bucks. It could change, um, and I'm sure the bigger models that they come out with, the P1500, P2000, P2500, will be even brighter than this. So this is a really solid design here. Um, as you can see, the intensity is what you would want, and. Um, like I said, the only thing that was a little disappointing is there's no infrared diodes on here, which some people will definitely want. But if that doesn't bother you that much, then it's not a big deal. And my favorite feature right here, this is really nice. Alright guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and I'll put all the links, all the relevant links in the video description. Thanks. It's a pretty nice design though. Alright, so let's get to the lighting. Let's turn it on and see how it looks. Okay, and um, as you can see, you got your 660 nanometer red there, and then you've got your cool white LEDs and your warm white LEDs. That's the darker white ones. 
Uh, the one thing I'm disappointed about on the spectrum with these is that they didn't include infrared, which can be beneficial. Um, so you can uh, take that into consideration, but overall it's not bad. And, uh, and so there's one good thing about these is that they're, well, at least the smaller model, this P1000, is that it's not too strong, even though it looks really bright. So you can hang this thing, um, the P1000 only. I'm not sure if you can go this low with the other models, the larger models, but the P1000, you can hang it 12 inches above your canopy, and that would be for flowering, and I think for veg as well. Um, seedlings, you're going to have to go higher than that. But 12 inches is um, not bad. Pretty, uh, pretty close. Most other lights you have to hang at 18 inches or maybe even a little higher. And of course you could always dim it as well. Let's take a look at this dimming knob. So right now it's on 100%. And that's 5%. And that's really not even that bright at all. And that's 100%. Really nice feature. I really like this knob. Um, they should put a knob like this on every grow light. Because that's just way too easy and convenient. That's how it should be. Alright, so... Um, I'm gonna do a intensity test here. Just give me one second to set up the tape measure and then I'll be right back to look at how bright this thing is.